What is going on guys? It has been way too long and I'm really sorry that I have not uploaded in such a long time. I'm really happy to be back though. Uh, a lot of things got in the way of uh, uploading, including that uh, my PC had to be repaired. I didn't have uh, my PC anymore uh, for a few weeks, and uh, my processor overheated, my motherboard overheated, everything went wrong, and I had to get a, essentially a brand new PC. But I have one now, and uh, we're all good. Uh, you know that YouTube money uh, really <laughs> really helped me out. No, I'm kidding. I don't make any money on YouTube. But uh, anyway, guys, we're here today for our draft review. Uh, or rather, it's just going to be uh, me going over my picks and why I pick them, really. It's not uh, really a review of how good it is or how bad it is. That's going to be up to you guys to decide. Uh, but we are here, and uh, let's hop right into it, actually. Uh, speaking of hop, we've got Megalopony. Uh, as our first pick. So I picked this Pokemon because it has a really good track record in the GBA uh, of doing pretty well. I hope that I'm able to live up to the expectations of uh, George and I believe John's used it before in the past as well. Miguel. So all of these people who have used this Pokemon and uh, have always had really high rates of success with it. Uh, as you guys know, it's one of the best revenge killers in the game due to its ability Scrappy not being able to, uh, to go resisted across the entire game with its dual stab. Uh, getting access to elemental punches, as well as things like facade for uh, for if you get burned, and uh, it's a, it's a cleric with heal bell as well. It's got uh, fake out for priority, quick attack as well. Get some uh, really cool moves like baton pass, cosmic power. Uh, that's kind of cool to use. Uh, it does get brutal swing this gen, so it actually does get a dark move to be able to hit um, to be able to hit uh, psychic types, which is really really fun. Uh, and it's got uh, it's got a, a few other really cool sets that you can run with this thing, uh, power up punch and stuff like that. So uh, it's gonna be fun to use. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on every mon because you guys know how, pretty much how they work by this point uh, if you've watched me for a long time. So or even if you haven't, if you're new to the channel, then uh, welcome. But uh, I'm sure you already know draft league format. I know that a lot of my big uh, uh, surge of subscribers recently has been because of the GBA. So you guys should know draft format. Uh, and if you don't, then uh, stick around, watch some games, and uh, you'll learn something. Anyway, moving on, we have uh, our next Pokemon here, which is uh, Shiro, the Scallopede. Uh, Megalopony's nickname is Reen, by the way. Uh, Reen Tosaka, and we have uh, Scallopede, Shiro. Uh, it should be red. Uh, it's red on my team builder, but it is a shiny Scallopede. Uh, and uh, it's got speed boost. The reason that I picked up Scallopede uh, is because I feel like uh, this and uh, Megalopony really break for each other. Uh, Scallopede being able to deal with the... Uh, the fairies and the the, the, the psychic types that Lopany really doesn't enjoy dealing with and then Lopany uh, obviously can uh, deal with uh, with pretty much everything else that Scallopede doesn't like especially steel types because Scallopede is always put in that position where it has to run earthquake for steel types uh, and it can't really break them too efficiently and it can't really sweep it if it's forced to run earthquake so I feel like they really mesh together offensively obviously defensively they have no synergy because they're weak to a lot of the same things like flying and psychic uh, but Scallopede's really cool in that it gets access to of course speed boost plus swords dance so it's an amazing sweeper uh, coverage like Aqua Tail, Earthquake, which we mentioned, Super Power, it's Dual Stab, uh, really good plethora of coverage. Also access to T-Spikes, Spikes, uh, Endeavor, you can run a, a lot of really cool sets with this thing. I'm really happy to have it. It's my first time with it in Draft League format. I've been dying to have this thing on, on one of my teams, and I finally got it, so... Sorry about that, I had to take a swig of water. <coughs> my uh, voice is already getting kind of hoarse. I haven't recorded in a while, as you can tell. So that's, uh, that's Gallipede, pretty straightforward. Next up, I decided to get Sylveon. Nui, thank you uh, to Papa C for the nickname. And uh, this thing is, uh, it does its job really well. It's not too versatile, uh, but it, it, what it can do, it does really well, which is Wish Pass, uh, and it fires off really strong Hyper Voices as well. It's a really good fairy, uh, great dragon check. Uh, can pretty much check nearly every dragon. Uh, gotta watch out for uh, setup dragons like Haxorus and stuff like that. Obviously, they can run things like Poison Jab. But uh, for the most part, it's, uh, it's a very good... Uh, Dragon check, and I, I've, it's another mod that I've always wanted on a team, so uh, that's pretty much why I got it. Uh, there's not much to say about it. Wish Pass, uh, Baton Pass as well, just like Scallopede and, uh, and Megalopony, they all have Baton Pass, so I have a lot of momentum going on the team. I'm going to want to get some U-turns and Bolt Switch going, so that's where my team is going from here on out. So uh, that's Sylveon. Moving on, we have... She's Will, the Darmanitan, and uh, this was kind of a panic pick. Uh, I did mention this in the, uh, in the draft stream, if you guys listen to my commentary. I, uh, I didn't necessarily want Darmanitan, 
Uh, I kind of picked it up because uh, I was I was looking for a breaker and something with momentum, even though I didn't need it right away and I could have looked for it uh, elsewhere. But I'm really happy that I ended up with this thing because uh, breaking grass types, breaking steels, uh, and just getting a lot of momentum with U-turn. Uh, it's a great scarfer, great choice band user, uh, super high attack stat of 140 with coupled with sheer force. Its flare blitzes hit incredibly strong. Uh, it's also got a, a few other interesting sets. Uh, things like bulk up for an uh, attack raise or belly drum, uh, and it gets access to uh, earthquake and superpower for coverage and uh, Zen headbutt and stuff like that. So at rock slide especially. So uh, it's a couple of really cool things, but mostly it's just a breaker. Like that's that's what it's going to be on this team. Um, I don't intend to run Zen mode Darmanitan as, as often as Crimson mentioned it in the draft stream. I was like, dude, stop, please. Uh, I'm not going to run Zen mode Darmanitan. I I don't know. I might it, it might come up where it actually has an amazing matchup, but I can't really see it uh, because the thing can't even recover. It turns back into regular Darmanitan. It's so annoying. Uh, and the fact that it's it's only other ability means that I can't not run sheer force and as a result I'm stuck not being able to run uh, flame charge either because I don't get the boost so that's a little bit annoying as well but uh, what it does it does really well once again just like Sylveon uh, it just breaks <laughs> that's what it's there for it's it's my highest attack stat across the entire team so uh, that's uh, that's she's will the Darmanitan moving on Next, uh, I picked up yet another, I, I want to say panic pick, but it was more of a mistake than anything. I got Kikio the Decidueye. If you guys watched me in the uh, in the D-League, you guys know that I like this thing. Or at least I did. Uh, I found myself not being able to bring it pretty often because what it's supposed to check is a grass type. It doesn't do very well. You usually get a grass type because you want to check... Um, I, I mean, the only real reason to get grass types at this point is to check thousand arrows because normally you're gonna have a good ground switch in, uh, and I mean, even some ground switchins are weak to edge quake, but so is this. So uh, it's not a great grass type. It's good for momentum. It's good for trapping. It's good for all that sort of stuff, uh, and it's a fighting immunity and whatnot. But I'm gonna end up getting rid of it. I'm gonna be straight up with you guys, and I'm gonna tell you all the mons that I'm gonna end up uh, free agencying. Uh, after the first week because I've already locked them in actually so you guys are gonna see that on uh, on Monday Make sure to follow the GBA channel the link will be in the description down below as well as every other coach But uh, go and check out the GBA channel uh, Go and check out trades and transactions hosted by your boy AA Ron uh, On Mondays and uh, you guys are gonna see uh, what I decided to drop what I decided to pick up So this is gonna be one of them So I'm not gonna talk too much about its moveset It's not really important uh, at this point because you guys probably won't be seeing it so moving on next up we have uh, my lot Asuna. I decided to pick up one of my favorite water types in draft league format. I've used this thing twice before. Both times it's done a really good job uh, at uh, checking what it needs to check. Uh, it's gotten a lot better this generation because of the burn nerf, uh, being able to run flame war plus marvel scale, having access to immediate recovery on like a lot of mono water, water types like Vaporeon and Suicune that rely on wish or rest respectively. Uh, and it's it's a great phaser with Dragon Tail, gets rid of boosts with Haze, has Mirror Coat for special attackers that threaten it. Uh, Mirror Coat was something that was used by Shady, I believe, a couple of seasons back to destroy a Raikou and basically get rid of it uh, for the rest of his team, so that was really cool. Uh, I really like Milotic. Milotic's one of my favorite Pokemon to use in Draft League format, uh, and I picked up a couple of Pokemon that I really, really like, uh, and this is one of the main ones. Just being a great Scald Spammer, a status absorber because it loves to have status on it because of Marvel scale. Anything that isn't toxic, essentially, which wears it down, uh, it, can, it can even deal with paralysis. It doesn't really care. So, uh, my Lodic is just incredible. I, I love this thing, and I'm really happy to have it in the GBA. And uh, unfortunately, I, I believe it is tier 2. Uh, that's where I got it, was tier 2. Uh, but uh, as a tier 2, I, I really like it, uh, even if it costs a little bit more. Uh, it's, it's the only water with a recovery, right? You want a bulky water, you want it to be able to heal itself up. And it's the, it's the only mono water type that I can think of with, with automatic recovery. Like the first ones that come to mind are like Slowbro, Slowking, but those aren't mono water. I didn't want to give myself a bigger ghost weakness and whatnot. So I decided to get my Lodic. So uh, pretty straightforward. Moving on, we have uh, the dark type that I wanted. So back in round, uh, I didn't explain uh, further, but this was a panic pick because I got, um, I got sniped on Crocodile. Lars sniped me on the wheel. I wanted Crook because Crook is an amazing dark type to pair with Megalopony. It traps the... Uh, uh, it traps the um, the psychic types that Lop doesn't want to deal with. Uh, obviously, it, ca it can kill Steels too, just like Lopany. But it, their pairing is really good. The fact the uh, the access to Intimidate and Moxie, such great abilities. That's why I wanted Crook. Uh, but instead, I ended up getting another Dark type in Zoroark. So Zoroark, I was kind of skeptical about, but the fact that it's a tier four. 
uh, and that it gets access to momentum in U-turn. Uh, it gets uh, Dark Pulse, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, all of the these great coverage moves. Uh, and also the fact that it can disguise itself as Megalopony and bait in the Dark types rather than them already having to be in is huge. That's that's actually really important because you're you're nobody's gonna switch out on a dark type that is clearly going for pursuit and your your dark type is gonna end up getting either coverage moved or status or something by the psychic type uh, or set up on like there there's a plethora of things that can happen but when you bait them in to begin with that's when you have success against psychic types so uh, as you can see, my first two offensive mons being uh, Megalopony as well as Scolipede are both weak to Psychics. So uh, having a solid Dark type like this, obviously it's not bulky. It's, its defenses are 60-60-60. It can't take a hit for, for the life of it. Uh, but its offense is really good with base 105 attack, base 120 speed, base 105 speed, which is a great speed tier to have. Uh, and the access to all of the coverage that it gets. Uh, it even gets set up in Calm Mind and Agility and uh, all of this great stuff. It gets Shadow Ball, Sucker Punch for priority. That's another thing, by the way. I don't have a lot of priority on my team right now, and my trades are going to help that out, as you guys are going to see uh, when you watch the video on Monday, if you do. Uh, so having access to Sucker Punch is already really good. Uh, it's a Trick Mon, so I can give something a choice item. It gets access to Taunt. Taunt was another thing that I wanted uh, to prevent recovery so that Lopini has an easier time breaking later on in the game. Uh, it gets access to Swords Dance. Uh, for more setup like it, it's really it's got a lot of really really cool moves punishment is also something really cool uh, for dealing with bulky psychics that set up calm minds uh, whereas its special attack is normally its only means of weakening them uh, punishment is kind of a uh, a replacement for that like if something gets up to plus two plus two then punishment is is immediately doing uh 140 base power damage so that's really strong uh it's it's got a, a few other really uh interesting things that it can run but uh mainly i've talked about the main things that i'm gonna want to use on this thing uh night days is a little bit better than dark pulse but uh it also has the chance to miss i believe i'm gonna check that right now uh give me a sec where where did this move go uh, night days, yeah, it's got a 95% accuracy, but it can lo it has a 40% chance to lower the opponent's accuracy by one, so that's kind of cool too. Uh, since we don't have any kind of evasion or we don't use sand attack and stuff like that, so that's Yato. Moving on, uh, our eighth round pick. So right here, I really wanted to. Um, I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to get this round, uh, so I defaulted to my tier one that I had planned from the beginning, and that was Zapdos. Uh, and Zapdos is a mon, once again, that I've used before in draft league format and that I absolutely love uh, because of its versatility, the fact that it can go offensive or defensive, uh, the fact that it has access to static plus defog now, it's a hazard remover, uh, access to both momentum, so U-turn and volt switch so it doesn't get screwed by, uh, by ground types. Uh, it's just a really solid mon overall. I wish it had Calm Mind. If this thing had Calm Mind, it would be ridiculous. Uh, it's yet another mon with Baton Pass, wouldn't you know it? Uh, so I have like five now, but um, yeah, so it gets three forms of momentum actually. It gets phasing with Roar and Whirlwind, uh, but mainly its its function is as a ground check, uh, as a fighting check, uh, and the fact that I can run static every week now is so, so huge because as you can see, my, my team isn't too physically bulky right now anyway. Um, well, we'll see after I do my free agency transactions, but, uh, right now my team isn't too physically bulky, so having to switch in on physical hits with a Pokemon like Zapdos on things like flying types and, and, um, uh, and fighting types and being able to paralyze them when they hit me, uh, having that 30% chance is always huge. Uh, the ability to run Discharge, uh, Roost for recovery, as you can see, I have a little bit of recovery going on on my team between Milotic, this thing, and Decidueye, which is gonna go away, but is getting replaced by a Grass type that does have recovery, so, uh, there is that, so I've got a... I've got a cool little core going, and I really, really like it. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Zapdos, so really glad that I was able to get it. Moving on, our uh, ninth round pick is... Uh, why isn't it moving forward? Okay, well then, I'm just going to pause this. All right, I got it. It only took another two seconds. But anyway, uh, we do have Dredagon, the, uh, the dragon type. Uh, with Rocky Helmet and Rough Skin, that's that's pretty much why I got it, essentially, because uh, as you guys can see, as I said, I was looking a little bit physically weak uh, on, the, on the physically defensive side, so I really needed something that could chip away at Mons and help out Megalopony in that sense, uh, and something with, uh, with Rocky Helmet uh, as well as Rough Skin is always really nice, uh, but... Uh, Dredagon suffers from the uh, the fact that it's extremely slow. It is my first rocker, by the way. This is the first rocker that I picked up, if you guys didn't notice. Um, but 
I, uh, this is another mon that I'm, I'm going to end up trading away because uh, I don't feel like I absolutely need a dragon type on my team. Uh, it increases my fairy weakness, which I have a plethora of right now, uh, outside of like Scalopede Darmanitan, which aren't real fairy checks uh, after all. And uh, Dredagon's only purpose really was to be a rocker and to be a, a, a bulky, a physical check, right? So I'm going to get another mon that pretty much substitutes that and is able to, to accomplish the same role. So that's another mon that's going away is going to be Dredagon. Nickname is, uh, is Eric right now. Uh, by the way, uh, Zapdos' nickname was Inko. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned Zoroarks, it's Yato. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Eric. Like I said, not going to be sticking around. The Mon that I'm getting instead of it uh, is actually also going to be named Eric, so I'm going to keep that uh, that nickname. He's my Jenner. If you guys don't know him, Heavy Metal Pokemon, go and check him out. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, another Mon that I'm dropping. And finally, the last Mon that I'm going to be dropping that I got during the draft is going to be Steelix, currently nicknamed Joey? Question mark. Shout out to AIM. Um, I needed a Steel type. I needed a... Um, a flying check uh, and a fairy check, absolutely. But the problem is that Steelix is not the best fairy check because it's extremely weak on the special, uh, on the specially defensive side, being that it's only 65 base defense with 75 HP. So it gets bought by things like flamethrower, focus blast, uh, the, the common coverage that you see on fairies, uh, and things like Earth Power from Mega Deancey, for example. So it's not a great fairy check at all. Uh, so I absolutely did not want to keep this mon. The reason I got it is because, again, lacking a rocker. And I wanted to see what was going to end up still being available after the draft and what I could still get. Because uh, that's also a way of drafting. You know, you get things that fill roles on your team. And then if you can improve your team after the first week. The only problem is that we're restricted to three free agencies throughout the season. So I'm kind of limited from here on out. Uh, but it's, it's better that than uh, picking something that I think is going to be good. Using it for a few weeks and then ending, ending up finding out that it's not as good as I thought it was. So uh, I'm really convinced that uh, Decidueye... Uh, Dredagon and Steelix all have to go. So that's uh, that's pretty much uh, Steelix. Uh, it's a Steel type with Heavy Slam, Earthquake. It's also my Ground type. That's another thing. Uh, I didn't have a, a Volt Switch switch in right now. Uh, the, the only one is Decidueye. Everything else doesn't like taking it. So that's uh, that's the reason I got the Steelix is because it was a Ground type and simultaneously a Rocker and a Steel type. So while it, it does do its job very well, I feel like the combination of Mons that I got to replace. Uh, this Decidueye and Dredagon is actually better and you guys are gonna see that when uh, when the free agency transactions come out So that's uh, Steelix finally last round. I got sniped super hard like the hardest you can get sniped ever When you're waiting for a tier 5 pick and you're thinking okay um, I'm 10th on the draft, right? It's coming back my way uh, as, as if we had started the draft, right? So th this round plays out that way. So Geo's before me. Uh, as you can see, before me this time was the uh, the Chu, Coach Z. And coming back around, Geo was before me. And I'm picking 10th, and I'm like, okay, there's only like 7 or 8 picks left. What are the odds that my pick gets taken before me? Gets to 2, uh, two picks before me, doesn't get taken. Then Geo hops on and he's like, oh, okay, give me Archeops. And I was like, dude, are you kidding me? I've been waiting the entire draft to get Archeops. It's a solid rock type and a tier five Zemon that can absolutely destroy teams. Uh, as you guys uh, probably figured out, or if you've seen in the draft stream, Scolipede is my Zemon uh, up in tier one. So I needed a tier five. Obviously, I'm not going to give that to Steelix. And I was thinking Archeops is perfect. I discussed it with Johnny, Rise Pool, uh, get Sky Strike, uh, Continental Crush, and then like... Uh, Devastating Drake with Outrage or Dragon Claw. It gets uh, Earthquake, uh, Iron Head, I believe even Iron Tail. It's it's really, really strong as a Zemon, and its speed tier is what makes it really cool because it hits 110, and there's not a lot of leads that can contest that. You can pretty much nab a kill for free with Archeops, and then it's got a bunch of other utility that's really cool too that you can use with Z Crystals. So I was really hyped to get Archeops, and then it gets picked the pick before me, and I was freaking out. I was like, okay, now what do I do? So I ended up going up with going with another rock type that can really use Z crystals well. Obviously, I wanted to draft a, uh, a tier five that can use Z crystals well because I made this mistake uh, in the D League where I ended up with Quillfish and uh, Salamence as my Zemons, and Quillfish isn't a great Zemon. It can be used, yes, but it's it's not going to come like every week. Uh, as opposed to why isn't it going forward? God damn it. <laughs> what is wrong with this application? Okay, uh, Barbarical. This is Jiraiya. Um, this thing got a lot better this gen. It gets access to Liquidation. 
uh, and which which is boosted by Tough Claws, of course, because it does make contact, and the fact that it can shell smash uh, in front of almost anything um, that's a physical attacker anyway that doesn't have super effective coverage against it, uh, and then just go for Continental Crushes, Hydro Vortexes, like it's and its coverage is, is incredible too. It gets uh, things like Cross Chop, which uh, normally base 80 accuracy. Uh, well, 80 accuracy, but it's a base 100 move, so it goes up to like 180 or 190 with a with a Z crystal, so it can hit things really hard with fighting types uh, coverage, uh, like really bulky steels, for example, uh, Z earthquake, Z superpower, anything like that, uh, and then gets access to uh, to sword stance as well if I don't necessarily want to run a shell smash set. Uh, so it's it's really really. I think the best alternative to Archeops, ultimately. It's a great fire check as well, which I didn't have a lot of on my team, other than, like, Milotic uh, and Dredagon, and that's really it. And neither of those, uh, like, taking, like, the other coverage that a lot of fire types have, like, for example, Rotom Heat uh, runs uh, Volt Switch, so Milotic doesn't want to take that. This is just one example, but... Uh, Barbarical obviously can't take Volt Switch either because it's really it's pretty frail on the on the special side. But you guys understand what I mean. Uh, it's a good fire check because it has a four times resistance. Uh, they my opponents have to run HP Grass essentially uh, to deal with me. Four times weakness to Grass, not a huge deal uh, because the rest of my team isn't that Grass weak. It's really only well Milotic, um, and so. Barbarical, uh, really fun. It's it's gonna be fun to use. I'm sure of it, and I'm so glad that I was able to pick up a mon that I can actually utilize with the Z Crystal this time. If I come in on something that can't hit me too hard, and I can get up a shell, shell smash, the game is almost essentially over. Uh, the base 68 speed is actually not a problem, I calc, I calc this up. Uh, 116 investment puts me at 103, which at plus 2 puts me faster than my own Megalopony. Just to give you an idea of how much speed I have to run. Only 116. So I can go adamant with this thing, and, and like tear holes through teams, so... Uh, I'm actually really, really happy with this pick. Uh, I think it was, I think Envy suggested it, uh, or somebody suggested it in my, uh, in my entourage. Somebody that I was speaking, uh, with during the draft, so. That's the full draft, guys. You guys see it on screen. Uh, Scalopede, Sylveon, Dermanitan, Decidueye, uh, Zoroark, Steelix, Megalopony, Milotic, Zapdos, Dredagon, Barbarical. So, um, the nicknames you're gonna learn through time, uh, when you guys see my draft. Uh, in action during the game, so make sure to check those out. Uh, check out all the coaches in the description down below, guys, as well. Um, go and subscribe to their channels if you don't want to miss any of their games, if you want to watch their sides against me. Uh, I want to thank uh, everybody in the uh, GBA, everybody that made the uh, the draft possible, uh, the draft stream as well. Huge shout-outs to Crimson uh, for having me on as well. Uh, that would have never happened if MV hadn't had the flu uh, <laughs> when uh, they were supposed to do the uh, draft stream together. So as kind of a blessing in disguise, uh, bittersweet, I guess you could say. Uh, unfortunate. I hope uh, MV's feeling better, but uh, glad I was able to fill in for him. That's a huge opportunity. Uh, thank you so much uh, to Crimson for allowing me to, to join him. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm really excited for this season. I'm looking forward to where it's going to go. And uh, if we can get into playoffs, that would be fantastic. As I said, I'm shooting for semifinals at the very least. Uh, gonna try to make the finals, of course. But we're actually trying to win a championship. <laughs> like, let's be honest, everybody here is. So, uh, that's the team, guys. Uh, and, of course, as I mentioned, uh, Steelix, Drudagon, and... Uh, what was the other one? <laughs> Decidueye are all getting traded. So, be looking out for that. However, week one against Envy, which is, of course, going up on Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it, I say, 2 p.m. Eastern, as we did with D-League. Uh, make sure to check that out, guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, so you can catch that. But, uh... Yeah, that's, uh, this is going to be the team against him, so uh, this is what we have. And uh, the team builder is also going up on Saturday, probably at 2, at 2 p.m. Eastern as well. That's, I'm going to try to make it as uniform as possible for all my GBA uploads. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Of course, go and check out all the links in the description if you want to see any of the other coaches, the GBA channel, as I mentioned before. And uh, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to me, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.